When I was very young, I heard it from my parents after they discovered a few early stories hidden in my room. This is ugly. This is shameful. I was finally evicted from their home, which was my first piece of good luck. Then after decades of having my work rejected, I had small bits published here and there, only to find many critics totally outraged by my efforts. When my parents were dead, they took the place of my dead parents. I accepted the justice of this. Then I married and now I hear my mother-in-law as she exclaims to my wife, why does he have to write that way? Why does he do it? Well, you know, those voices, past and present, are always going to be there, or hopefully they always will be. When they stop, I will know that I have lost my spirit. I will know I have lost touch with the direct line to the mad and laughing gods. I will see my photo on the cover of Time, and I will be taught in high school English, along with Hawthorne and Whittier. As long as the mother-in-law and many others protest, I will know that I am on the trail of a living and lively thing. Not that I write in order to create great and ennobling works, but if they become so, and finally silence the grating bellows of idiots, then let be that. Fools sometimes create genius by their persistence, and their puking empty unjustified horror, unmitigated.